The prolonged period of below normal temperatures we've been talking about for many days has begun. Jeff Hoffman here from the Storm Center. There seems to be an endless parade of cold fronts here, and they continue one right after another. The good news is newest data suggests these fronts are coming in so fast and so frequent that the winds are staying strong enough, and that's going to prevent a widespread frost and a freeze deep into south and central Florida. So that is some good news. Out ahead of each front, we get a westerly wind that kicks up behind the fronts, a northwesterly win and this trough of low pressure continues to establish itself and it's going to stay around for quite some time. I think we're going to stay below normal through early next week across much of the state. For specific numbers in your hometown and the exact areas that could have a frost or a freeze, don't forget we'll be updating you on our mobile app Florida Storms. Follow us on Facebook and on Twitter at Florida Storms. Still some clouds in the sky Tuesday, a lot of wind as well, so that's why most areas won't have a freeze to start the day. But look at these chilly daytime highs. 50s north, low 60s south, may not even hit 50 in Jacksonville. Now, these are the general maps for the entire state. Notice the areas in blue is where a freeze could occur. Wednesday morning, that's Marion County northward. As the winds die down some Thursday morning, there could be some patchy frost as far south as Lakeland, and then a freeze in the northwest suburbs of Overland and points north, a hard freeze possible up near I-10. Then on Friday morning, the winds are going to switch around to the south and west for North Florida. So look at Pensacola warming up to 50, but with high pressure right over central Florida, there's still the possibility of an inland frost on Friday morning. Speaking of the winds, they're going to be gusty Tuesday morning. Here are your wind chills, 20s in Gainesville, 30s in central Florida. Gets even colder, I think, as we move into uh, Wednesday morning. Wind chills possibly flirting with the upper teens in North Florida and then 30s. 30s being felt all the way down to just outside of Fort Pierce. And then as we move into Thursday morning, wind chills in the 20s all the way down to Lakeland and low 40s in South Florida. Whew, it's going to be rough for a few of you until Friday, and I think we're going to finally start to warm up Friday afternoon. If you're wondering when we will warm up for good, well, let's look at the jet stream. It does lift north some this weekend, but there's another trough digging in here as we head toward the 15th of the month, so we still will likely have below normal temperatures. Maybe by the 18th or 19th, the jet stream will start to lift, and some warmer spring-like weather will be on its way to Florida. Stay tuned for updates.